Hey guys, uh, I thought I'd do a little bit of uh, some, something a little different today. There are several videos on the internet about how to update your Hummingbird units, both Onyx and Core Series units. But what I don't see on the internet, or at least I haven't been able to find, is a video showing you how to download the update and put the update on an SD card. So what I'm planning on doing today is just showing you very quickly how to download the update and put the update on an SD card. Now, first thing I've done is I've put an SD card in my laptop here, and I'm going to go down to the lower left corner. I'm going to click on Start, Computer, and on this Windows 7 machine and most most computers are pretty much this way you will see your disks listed you have your C drive uh, there's the DVD drive <clears throat> excuse me and right here you see SD MMC D drive now what you want to do is you want to right click on your mouse right click now not left click Go down to Format, click Format, FAT32, you can do the Quick Format, simply quick, click Start, the, it will pop up a message saying you're going to erase all the data, so if you have something on there you might want to save, you need to move it somewhere else. But in our case, we're just simply trying to erase the card so we can continue with our downloads. You click OK. And this is an 8 gigabyte card, and it shouldn't take but just maybe a few seconds or so to format. Okay, format's complete. Click OK, and now we are ready to download our updates. I'm going to show you how to download today on both Firefox and Chrome. I'm not sure about Internet Explorer. I personally don't use Internet Explorer. I think there's been a few issues with Internet Explorer here and there downloading some stuff from Hummingbird. So today I'm going to show you with these two browsers down lower left, Mozilla Firefox and Chrome. Okay, I already have them, let's start with Chrome, I already have them logged in to my Hummingbird. Now this is where you registered your equipment when you bought it. I have them logged in already. I come down to my equipment and today I need to update my 999 HDSI combo. So when you find your equipment where it says downloads, you have two choices. You have Humminbird PC, which of course is a computer program to manage your waypoints, and then your update. So let's click on our update. Now, this is Google Chrome. Let's click on our update. It's going to pop up, and this is just some some notes. I guess you'd call it update notes. Uh, general fixes. In this update, there are no new features. Uh, they still, though, did add support for the Bluetooth dongle. And if you want to read all this, it it tells you how to restore your how to restore defaults. It it tells you how to you know how to update your unit, but there's videos out there. In fact, I'm going to make a video telling you how to or, or showing you how to update your unit. So, all right, so let's go down to the bottom, scroll down. There's actually a video showing how to update. But what we're after is the download for the update. So let's click download. Now, on Google Chrome, what happens is it pops up down in the lower left corner and it shows you that you're updating right down here in the lower left. See, I only have about five seconds left. So, once it finishes updating, here's what I like to do. This little arrow button right here. Drop that down. Click Show in Folder. When, it, when the folder opens, the file you just downloaded will be highlighted. Okay, it is a BIN file, 
which is the Hummingbird Update file, right click, right click now, right click on the file, go to Send To, and in your choices, it says SDMMC. So just click on that. All right, and it's writing it to your SD card. Okay, so it's done. Now, one more time. Let me close this down. We've downloaded the update from My Hummingbird. Lower left corner, it'll tell you when it's done. Click on the arrow, show in folder, right click on the mouse, send to SD card. Okay, and I'm not going to send it again, but that, that is how I do it in Google Chrome, okay? So, let's get out of Google Chrome. Let's go to Firefox. Now, Firefox handles their files just a little bit differently, which is the reason I wanted to show you both of them. So, let's go to My Hummingbird, which I've already done. I'm logged in once again. There is your equipment, in my case, updating a 999. I'm going to click on it. Same window comes up telling you about new features, changes, you know, all, all the stuff that if you're interested in, you can read it. Now, here's where the big difference comes in. When you click Download, Instead of automatically downloading the file, it pops up and asks you what you want to do. You can open it or save it. In this case, of course, we're going to save it. So we're going to click OK. It saves it in a folder, a download folder. So here's what I do next. I do Show All Downloads. Okay, right there is our download. If you had more, of course, there would be more. I right-click on it. I go Open Containing Folder. Once again, it's highlighted. Now, obviously, I've downloaded it a couple of times getting ready to do this video, so there's several of them. But then, once again, if you download with Firefox, right-click on it, Send to, SD card, boom. You're done. It's going to do just like it did with Chrome. All right, let's run through this one more time. Okay, if you downloaded with Firefox, I'm going to do it again. It doesn't take but a few seconds just because Firefox is a little bit different. If you download with Firefox, click Download, Save File, OK. Tells you right up here in the right corner you have seven seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one one bingo okay this is your download folder arrow of course now we have two of them I always click show all downloads right click open containing folder right click send to SD card all right so that's pretty much how how you download from both Firefox and Chrome and let me show you just, just to prove that it works. We're going to go to Start, Computer. We're going to look in the SD card by clicking on it. And sure enough, there's our update ready to be used. Okay, I hope this uh, video helped you some. And I'm going to post this video. And then I'll post the video of me actually updating the 999 to the latest update. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Bye.